before solving next question you might get a doubt what is the doubt that you might get sir we have taken some questions earlier where suppose for example if i assume this question as an example where i am adding 44 liters of milk the same numerical value 44 is also added for water i am adding some liters of milk same liters of water i am adding here what if they are different numbers is there any methodology you might get a doubt of such kind of things now see here sir i will come back to the question which we need to solve right now so that we will understand what if there are different numbers how to take care of those different numbers listen carefully everyone please see this question your question is just a minute sir see this question this is your question your question is in a vessel ratio of milk and water is 7 is to 3 milk and water is given in the ratio of 7 is to 3 that is the first statement when x liter of milk is added i am adding x liter of milk into the vessel then the ratio of milk and water becomes 17 is to 6 the ratio becomes 17 is to 6 now now in this mixture if 3.5 liters milk and 3 liters of water is added now in this second mixture if 3.5 liters of milk and 3 liters of water is added in all the previous problems what we did is if i add 3.5 here water also i would have added the same value 3.5 like that i did it now they are different values now they are different values if 3.5 liters milk and 3 liters of water is added then the ratio of milk and water becomes 5 is to 2 the ratio of milk and water becomes 5 is to 2 find the value of this x is the question in the question itself they are specifying the variable x find that x value is the question now same logic same analogy i told you that let us come from bottom to top let me first solve this particular box now but in this particular box first what milk is added as 3.5 extra water is not added with the same 3.5 extra water is added with some other value but we should first make it same how to make it same everyone listen carefully sir now what i will do is 17 is to 6 is the initial ratio now everyone please concentrate here 17 is to 6 is the initial ratio now for this initial ratio of 17 is to 6 forget about 70, 7, 7 is to 3 i am only concentrating on that box 17 is to 6 is the ratio for this 17 is to 6 i am adding 3.5 liters of milk and i am adding 3 liters of water for this 17 is to 6 i am adding 3.5 liters of milk and i am adding 3 liters of water so that the resultant ratio becomes 5 is to 2 the resultant ratio becomes 5 is to 2 please make use of cross multiplication application whenever different values are added please make use of cross multiplication application sir how is that cross multiplication listen to this carefully because this is the first variety of problem you you need to have complete attention now what i will do is multiply this cross 17 into 2 it is 34 6 into 5 it is 30 what is the difference between them 17 into 2 is 34 5 into 6 is 30 difference between them is nothing but 34 and 30 difference is 4 similarly similarly what i will also tell you is take the cross multiplication again here 5 into 3 it is 15 3.5 into 2 it is 7 15 and 7 what is the difference 8 according to the first cross multiplication difference is 4 but according to the second one difference is 8 multiplying factor is how much 4 is becoming 8 multiplying factor is 2 the same multiplying factor multiply with this numerical value of 17 is to 6 also that means if i multiply with 17 is to 6 so 2 into 17 is 34 2 into 17 is 34 2 into 6 is 12 now this 34 and 12 
is after addition of some x liters of milk before that it was 7 is to 3 actually but can i again can i again say like this water is not changing if it is 12 here here also it should be 12 3 should become 12 into 4 this 7 also into 4 7 into 4 is 28 3 into 4 is 12 28 is becoming 34 that means x value is 6 28 plus 6 only 34. This cross multiplication to make that multiplying factor is very very important for you. Now please see another beautiful question sir. Please see this question. Please see this question. Very very beautiful question. The ratio of milk and water in a vessel is 19 is to 7. Milk and water ratio is nothing but 19 is to 7. This is the first statement. When x liter of milk is added, I am adding x liter of milk. This ratio becomes 3 is to 1. Again, y liter of water is subtracted. I am subtracting y liter of water. So, the new ratio now becomes 7 is to 2. It is 7 is to 2. Now, read the next statement. Your next statement is, if 7.5 liters of milk is added to the mixture, and 2.5 liter is what of water is extracted. I am adding 7.5 liters of milk. I am subtracting 2.5 liters of water. Then ratio of milk and water becomes 45 is to 11. The ratio of milk and water becomes 45 is to 11. Find the value of x cube minus y cube. Find out x value. Find out y value. Find out x cube by minus y cube. Now same logic once again I would like to implement sir. Go from bottom to top. Go from bottom to top. Because bottom value is given totally. Go from bottom to top. Now everyone listen carefully once again sir. This box you whatever I have this box. The same box I will write it in my next screen also. In the next screen this is 7 is to 2. And then 7 is to 2 added is 7.5 subtracted is 2.5 added is 7.5 subtracted is 2.5 the ratio now becomes 45 is to 11 now added value is different subtracted value is different so I should make use of cross multiplication concept how will I make use of cross multiplication 7 is to 2 write it as it is if I write 7 is to 2, I will add for 7, milk I will add 7.5 liters extra, water I will remove 2.5 liters, I will remove 2.5 so that the resultant ratio is 45 is to 11. Use the same cross multiplication process what I told, 7 into 11 is 77. 45 into 2 is 90, 77 in, uh, and 90, difference is 13, difference is 13, similarly, 45 into minus 2.5, 45 into minus 2.5 is minus 112.5, 7.5 into 11, it is 82.5, so 82.5 and minus 112.5 difference is 82.5 minus of minus 82.5 plus 112.5 which is nothing but 195 13 is becoming 195 multiplying factor is 15 multiplying factor is 15 that means all these values should be multiplied by 15 in simple language this if i multiply by 15 this becomes 15 into 7 which is 105, 15 into 2 which is 30. Now I believe that it is clear for you people, right? It is clear. Now can I say that this value, this value is actually nothing but 105 is to how much sir? 105 is to how much? It is 30. 105 is to 30 is this actual value. Now, I am subtracting something from this. I am subtracting something so that this milk will not change. According to the ratio, milk is 3. According to the question, milk is 105. 3 into 35 is 105. 3 into 35 is 105. 1 into 35 is 35. That means... Earlier milk water was 35 liters. Now the water is 30 liters. That means I 
eliminated 5 liters of water. I took out 5 liters of water. So, y value is nothing but 5. I believe that you are understanding how to find x and y values. y value is nothing but 5. Again, take it to the next level. Next level is, I am adding the actual ratio initially is 19 is to 7. I am adding some liters of milk. I am adding some liters of milk. Water I am not adding. Here the water is 7, but actually the water is 35. 7 should become 35. Multiply by 5. Multiply by 5. 19 into 5 is 95. 7 into 5 is 35. Can I right now say it like this, sir? Can I say that it was 95 milk initially and it became 105 milk? That means the term which is added extra milk is 10 liters. That 10 happened to be x value. x value is 10. y value is 5. X cube minus Y cube is what they are asking. 10 cube minus 5 cube. 5 cube is 600, sorry, 5 cube is 125. So, 1000 minus 125. My final answer should be, it is 875. Bottom to top approach is very, very important. 